Okay, I'll, I'll be going through question one right now. Okay, uh, do listen up. Okay, because uh, there's no one way, one fixed way to do it, an angles question. So uh, just listen up and see whether, you know, our methods are similar. If it is different, it's also okay. Yours might be longer. Uh, mine should be shorter, hopefully. Okay, okay. So I really want to show you guys how, like, you know, by knowing the properties, right, uh, it will cut short your preparation time a lot. And also you can understand two different perspectives in uh, handling a question. Uh, Angus question. So A, B, C, D. As a rhombus. So all sides are equal. Right? Now next. Can you see that already? Guys? Okay? Can you see that A, D, C is an isosceles triangle? Can you see that? So I know that this is also equals to 18 degrees. Understand? Alright? What is A, D, C? 180 minus 18 minus 18. 144. Okay? Why do I, how do I get 144? Because some angle sum of a triangle. All right? Now, next. To find EAD, EAD, you're one step closer, guys. What is ADE first? Okay? ADE, okay? Angles on a straight line, 180. 180 minus 144, 36 degrees. And then can you see that? that EAD is part of this triangle. So 180 minus 36 minus 106, that will be the answer. Okay, 38 degrees. Now, angle ABC is very easy, just in one step. Why? Because you know that this is within a rhombus, correct or not? All right, so I'm just showing you another perspective of, you know, handling this question. It might be similar to yours or it might be different. But it's, it's always good to know more than one. Okay, so opposite angles is equal to 144. All right, can guys?